Uh, next, we will go to the uh, mayor's opening remarks. And I have a few more remarks for this evening. Again, good evening. I am again honored to provide greetings and opening remarks at this, the second organizational meeting of the City of Thompson Council for the 2014-2018 term. I would like to welcome all in attendance, including my City Council colleagues, City Manager Gary Sepatelli and his administrative team, and members of the general public and press in attendance. And I also would like to thank those viewing from home with the services provided by Shaw Cable. I would first like to thank the residents of this community for their input over the last year. We've had, a good, we've had a good participation in the inquiry and question periods of our council meetings, as well as good participation via social media and our webpage. We value your comments and suggestions as we move through the process of providing services to the community at large. Secondly, I would like to recognize and thank City Manager Gary Sabatelli and his administrative team and the city staff that make our job as mayor and councillors that much easier by doing all the hard work at the ground level. Last but certainly not least, I would like to thank my fellow council, council colleagues for their efforts over the last year. The first year was a learning process for many on council, but now I look forward to moving forward and having this council establish its own identity for the remaining three years of our term. To say that our first term of, in office was a learning experience does not mean that we did not see numerous achievements as we came together as a team. Here are a few notes. In January, uh, January 5th, the City of Thompson revealed its new brand identity. Uh, the new identity is a result of the work led by the Local and Regional Identity Advisory Group, a subcommittee of the Thompson Economic Diversification Working Group, otherwise known as TEDWIG. In February, the new school, uh, school zone speed limits were in effect. Regular council meeting amended the school uh, zone uh, speed limit bylaw, passed its third and final reading, uh, and, uh, and, are and is now in effect. In March, um, Thompson hosted Rogers Hometown Hockey and Winterfest 2015. Uh, with great success uh, on both accounts, uh, and we, uh, we received uh, nationwide uh, exposure through the uh, benefits of Rogers TV. Um, City of Thompson approved, we were approved for funding for the new wastewater treatment plant in May of 2015. Um, our uh, one third of uh, $12.3 million uh, shared with the federal government and the provincial government to a total of uh, $24,333,000 for, for a grand total of $36 million towards the new wastewater treatment plant. The City of Thompson and Valet uh, presented to the general public uh, the, prof the uh, profile and the process in regards to the transfer of the water treatment plant, which is ongoing. In June, along with our, our partners, the Downtown Strategy uh, celebrated the graduation of eight community safety officers at a ceremony at City Hall. The new CSO pro program aims to build positive relationships while also improving public safety. Under Bill 31 of the Police Services Act, the CSOs have been granted peace officer status in the City of Thompson and will, and will work with the local law enforcement to implement crime prevention strategies and initi initiatives, enforce some provincial, provincial laws like the Liquor Control Act, the Intoxicated Persons Detention Act, the Mental Health Act, and the Highway Traffic Act, connect with social service providers with people in need, and maintain a visible presence in the community. In July, Statistics Canada released the 2014 figures for the Juristat Crime Severity Index otherwise known as the CSI. Thompson continues to improve its community ranking across Canada and saw a 15.1% drop in overall crime severity. Specifically, the violent crime severity value re realized a 9% drop and the nonviolent crime severity value of a 173 drop continued the trend over the last couple of years. In uh, July uh, as well, Thompson, the city of Thompson uh, assumed ownership and operational management of the waste disposal grounds, the WDG, effective Saturday, August, uh, August 1st. And finally, uh, Thompson, uh, in conjunction with the local RCMP detachment, uh, received an award for the International Association of Chief, Chief of Police, IACP, for their part in the Project Northern Doorway. The award was presented uh, in Chicago and will again re be represented to the community at large at the police gala later this, uh, this month. As I stated at the last inaugural meeting, decisions made by this council in this term will frame in future, the future development and sustainability for our community for many years to come. As always, I look forward to the discussion and debate on all the issues and I encourage council to be actively involved as we move through the process. I also encourage and challenge residents from all ages of our community to become actively involved in the decision-making process as well. It is your thoughts and opinions that will guide us in moving our community forward on the challenges that are ahead of us. 
Moving forward, Council has begun the 2016 budget deliberations with an anticipated completion date uh, of February 2016. As per the Municipal Act, we have to formally submit our budget to the Province of Manitoba by May 15, 2016. This evening, we'll announce an addition of a new Committee of Council being the Communications Committee. And also through the Ab Aboriginal Accord Standing Committee, we will review the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's report and its 96 recommendations. We will endeavour to adopt practices that reflect the recommendations moving forward, one of which will be to the establishment of an Aboriginal Relations Committee of Council within the term of this office. As a Council, we will continue to make decisions based on our strategic plan which will be presented to the community uh, next month. We will continue to use the Master Parks Plan and the Sustainable Community Plan as guiding documents in our decision-making process. At the Canadian Citizenship Court recently held at December, or sorry, at uh, Deerwood School, we, will, we welcomed 163 new Canadian citizens to our community and region. This is our reflection of our diversity of, our, of both the region and the community and is one of our strengths that allows cross-cultural discussions at this time. I am confident that we will continue to work on being the most inclusive, caring and progressive community that we can be to the benefit of all. In closing, I would again encourage residents to become involved with the municipal process of governing. Council provides governance and sets policy. Administration supports the governance and carries out the policies impl implemented. Residents, and this is the most important part, provide feedback, both positive and negative, so that Council and staff can affirm or adjust direction that we are guiding the community forward. If we all work together, it will be for the benefit of everyone, both in the community and the, south and the uh, surrounding region. Thank you.